With 90% of the effects of climate change being felt through water, each city faces a unique set of uncertain challenges. Good water governance is crucial components for human health, a catalyst of economic development, an ingredient in river placemaking, and an essential element that recognizes cultural science, heritage, and history. We are facing rapid urbanization around the world, with current levels around 56% of the world population today in cities, and we expect that to grow to 68% by 2050. Climate change induced flooding, water scarcity and water pollution is worsening, making it more critical now than ever to build water resilience. We need water adaptation strategies that bring together stakeholders and are appropriate for the location of the cities. Climate financing and strong governance are the cornerstones upon which a resilient future rests. So why should we focus adaptation efforts in cities? The power and the dynamics in cities allows us to engage the communities, to ensure community participation and multi-level sector engagement. The City Water Resilience Approach is a methodology designed to address water resilient challenges at a basin scale. The approach puts forward locally owned solutions that come together to build citywide resilience. The CWRA yields insights and tackles challenges in five key stages. Understand the system, assess urban water resilience, develop an action plan, implement the action plan, evaluate, learn and adapt. The City Water Resilience Approach considers communities, nature and urban development in partnership. Miami-Dade County consists of 34 cities. We are considered ground zero from a standpoint of climate change, sea level rise, population growth, algae blooms, stormwater runoff and pollution to the water bodies. So the CWRA effort enabled the conversation from a governance standpoint of unifying the 34 cities, bringing them all together, elevating and amplifying the conversation of one water. In Lagos, the CWRA has been applied to help solve the complex challenges of water security that millions face. Currently in this state, only about 10% of the population is connected to the municipal water supply. Since the implementation of the state of the in Lagos, we have been able to integrate the core sector stakeholders. And working together with these stakeholders, we have identified the key technical challenges facing the Lagos state water sector. And the sector stakeholders in the state will be able to come together under the umbrella of the Lagos Water Partnership to make technical contributions and to work together as a team with the unified force to address the climate resilience issues of the Lagos state. The Resilient Water Accelerator is a new initiative designed to increase the flow of private and public finance into water projects that help the most climate vulnerable communities build resilience to climate change. We've been working with ARA using the CWRA in Lagos, Nigeria, to conduct a thorough analysis of the city's water system and stresses, and therefore inform project prioritization. Since its formation, Aqua has grown to a coalition of over 25 member cities and partner organizations working towards urban resilience in African cities, putting the most vulnerable at the heart. The Water Tracker for National Climate Planning is a global initiative to increase water and climate resilience through national climate plans. The Alliance for Global Water Adaptation is collaborating closely with our partners at ARA to bridge the work of the Water Tracker at the national level with the city water resilience approach at the urban level, ensuring a holistic and integrated approach to resilience. Together, we're paving the way for effective climate action that contributes to thriving, resilient communities, ecosystems, and economies. Thank you to our partners. There's still lots to do. Let's take it to scale.